Well, we've been camped in this spot for well over a week now. My apologies. This is not the kind of place any young boy would want to camp out. But we're going to take on the Demon's Stronghold today, which is a pretty difficult place, not least of which because there's no map to help us out. Uh, the map at this point has completely disappeared. And uh, we're going to start relying on some uh, different items here. We're going to take out the Sword of the Spirit, first of all. It's going to come in handy later on. But we're going to rely on an item that we have not really found all that useful up till now. And that's going to be the grapes. The grapes are going to be great for neutralizing all of the enemies in our path. And there are going to be a lot of enemies in our path because there's going to be a lot of demons popping up. Starting with this next screen, I do believe. You want to try to get them before they spawn. And the grapes are great because they can also knock out, knock out the fireballs that the demons shoot at you. But we're going to make our way through this maze. I've made my way through it a few times so that I would be uh, prepared and not be uh, wandering around like a fool. We want to wind down to this part down here. See, you got demons shooting things at you. And uh, you want to try to get them as soon as they spawn. I have my bananas out for some dumb reason. Not my grapes, like I, or I think I have my... Okay, now I know I have my grapes. There we go, that's much better. Because these things have range, it's, you know, they're like... They go all out in three different directions. Not sure why I had my bananas out, and I think I did have my bananas out. Which is bananas, actually. Because, yeah. See, there is it's really easy to lose health around here, because everything takes off at least one heart. There are going to be times when it's kind of slow to progress around here, because there's so much crap just spawning in your face. This is actually probably the legit hardest part of the game, which makes sense, because, I mean... It is the last area of the game. Let's go ahead and uh, spread out some grapes. We've already lost two hearts. You want to really make sure you've got an anointing oil, just in case. Because, yeah, you, you want to have as many hearts as possible, and you want to have that anointing oil. So, all right, we're down here with the grapes, and we've got a safe spot for now. This place, this area right here, is less complicated than it seems. We're just going to go a couple screens over to the right, and then we're going to go straight up. Yeah, this, don't, don't worry about the maze-like portion of this level right here. It looks all mazy and stuff, but if you stay on a fairly strict course of right and up, then you'll make it to the next area. God, I hate it when they spawn in your face like that. That's the worst part. And we get a safe screen before going up to the next door, which is right here. Yeah, you want to be just basically firing things at that door, because that's where they like to pop up right there, and I lost a heart because I slowed down. Now we're back in the original area. We're going to come around to a place right now. Uh, ordinarily, this is where we would get the Shield of Faith, but I've been through this a few times, this area here, and I just got to say, the boss in here, I don't know what's going on with the boss in here, but it is crazy messed up. Take out these guys with our shield, and this is kind of our, uh, this is kind of our midpoint right here. If we go in this room, there's a boss where we can get the Shield of Faith. That's the last item that we need, but as it turns out, we don't really need it, and I don't know what on earth is going on with that boss in there, because I'll show it to you once we uh, get through with the end credits, as they are, as they were, but yeah, we're going to ignore this room for now, and you'll see why when we go back at the end and explore that door in greater detail, because I really don't understand what's going on in there. So we're going to move on to the next area, this little bridge fire maze type place. And I think we want to go left, if memory serves. And this is a pretty easy spot. There's no demons spawning in here that fire things at you. So all you got to do to get rid of these lava men is shoot your sword of the spirit at them. And I don't know why we're collecting souls around here. They are very stingy with health refills around here. And all the times I've been playing through this area, I have not seen one yet, so... Yeah, they give you souls, which you're not really going to need at this point. Soul points, rather. I guess demons don't really have souls, as it were. So, I've been calling them souls this whole game. They're really like... Spirit points, or soul points, or something. Alright, yeah. This is... Okay, yeah, this is how I... Remember to myself that I'm going the right way. Because we're going to go up, and we're going to go into the corner here, which is going to take us behind the building. You can actually go behind and under things in this segment. It's really actually cool how they space it. Like this giant building right here, not a dead end. You can cross right behind it. In fact, I think that's the building we came out of originally to get to this area. Or 
our starting point in this place. Alright, I believe this is where we want to be, right here. Mean face, rawr, 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 rawr. Okay. Now, as soon as we step through here, we're... Oh, God, yeah. So, I knew that. We were going to want to be careful. Oh, yeah. Any screen where there's, like, demons camped out everywhere, firing things at us, we want to be careful of. Well, yeah, like, when there's a cluster of them there, we want to make our way to the bottom. These guys, these, uh... These, uh, invisible footprint tracking, whatever they are, they're really easy to avoid. So, we're going to try to stay on screens that have them. But we're in this big open space here. We want to try to make our way to the bottom. We're trying to make our way to the bottom right corner, essentially. Anytime we see demons on a screen, like a cluster of demons, we're going to get away from it as fast as possible. Because I'm trying to conserve health here. And no, despite what you might think, this isn't a Lost Woods type scenario. It's just a really big, wide open space. So, what's going on down here? Oh yeah, cluster of demons. No thank you. So we're going to keep moving until we eventually feel our way out to the corner. Yeah, there's just clusters of demons all on the outer walls, and that's not fun at all. So, let's see. Now we're kind of feeling our way towards the wall of the right, so we know we're near the bottom. And once we know we're near the bottom, oh yeah, okay. Once we know we're near the, we know, we know, blah, 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 we know we're near the, here we go. So this is the only cluster of them we actually have to deal with. I think I lost maybe one heart in that whole scuffle. But yeah, just a big wide open room. Kind of an interesting design decision, actually. To just have that big open room like that. It is kind of scary when you think about it from a first person perspective, actually. I don't think so. Yeah, see, these, are, these grapes are great here. You just throw a bunch of them out. Make sure you're able to throw four at a time. The more, the merrier. So... Want to make there we go yeah imagine getting all this way and not having a key that would really suck because okay that's a funky little structure sure okay not sure what that's really doing there but all right all right let's cut through here oh hey demon right out the door waiting to get me that was excellent and fair all right crossing through we are almost to the final boss actually we want to oh crap Oh yeah, thanks for just coming up the stairs there, foot demon dude. I didn't want to use my anointing oil just yet, I wanted to at least wait until I was at the door. Oh god, I am really about to bite it, aren't I? Yep, one more and I'm down, so I better use it now. Not that the last boss is going to be all that hard, it is kind of a test of patience, but it's not that tough a battle, you just have to be persistent about it. So we're going to go ahead and use this now, our little sorry pawn. Excellent. All right, and that's our only chance, so uh, we better we better use this wisely. And next screen should be the final boss, if I recall. We're still going to go ahead, and uh, I think we're going to go ahead and switch over to bananas for the final boss, because that's just going to serve us better than the grapes will, actually. The grapes might have better range, but the banana, I think, has a stronger hit, so we're going to go ahead and use that for the end game here. Okay, yeah, so it's like a screen away, okay. But the banana can take out the demons just as well as the grapes can. They just have to be on your level is all. There we go. All right, we're at the boss with full health. Let's go in. And here we go. He has this rock shield in front of him that moves around. And to keep it from moving, you have to hit it with your sword of the spirit. And then you have to get out from beneath it. You have to get out from beneath it and actually hit the guy. Which, the guy here being Satan. I don't want to be that guy. Okay. And you just gotta stave off the demons, basically. It's very intense, you gotta keep the shield from moving at all times. But, if you can get out from- there we go. Don't worry, that little sequence can't hurt you or anything. Yeah, when he does that, that's how you know you hit him. It's a pretty flashy way to indicate that you hit a guy, but... There we go. Right in the head. I presume that you're supposed to do this with your Sword of the Spirit, but your fruits work just as well for hitting the boss. And yes, this is a much easier boss than the one we skipped, I assure you, but... I've always thought of Satan as red, not purple. Maybe he's just that veiny, though. Yeah, but just keep hitting the rock that moves to block you with your sword. 
Ah, oh, how did I not get that? It's kind of spotty with the hit detection there. But uh, it should take about seven hits to do the guy in. Yeah, I've gotten like a billion hits by now. Okay, like if I'm right up on it, maybe that'll help me some. Eh, don't run away from the demons like that. Just face them head on. Okay. But yeah, see, as long as you keep firing stuff, you basically have a really good chance in this battle. Yeah, sure. Stay stay in the corner there. Is Satan a weenie? He looks kind of like some kind of actually like... I guess you could say he's like some kind of cat demon. And now we're getting Flicker. That's great. And I'm forgetting to fire my sword. To... Okay. There we go. Great. Good. Great. Okay. Okay, yeah. He's way out there now. I do like the uh, fireball sound effect that they lifted straight from Mario, though. That's great. Alright, we're done. That is it. That is it for Spiritual Warfare. And this is pretty much all you get. There's not even a true credit sequence. You just get this little scroll that says, Hallelujah, Soldier of God! You have defeated the final foe and freed the city from his evil influence. May God bless you in all that you do! That kind of... I was kind of going for the preacher bot from Futurama there, but... Trust me, evangelical preachers, they do that thing where they add the ah to the end of every other word that they say. I grew up in it, I know. But that's it for spiritual warfare, basically. We kind of just tore through the, uh, we just kind of tore through the demon stronghold there, which, in my opinion, is the best strategy. You don't want to, and we finally have a different song here, thank God. Let's sit here and listen to this for a little bit. Very peppy and upbeat. Or something like that. But yeah. So that's it for Spiritual Warfare. We have defeated Satan. And uh, now from er now on there is never going to be any sin again. Everybody is now a Christian. Which I assume is what I, is what I did here. Is that the main goal? To kill Satan? And I guess save a bunch of people along the way. That's kind of just icing on the Christian cake. Whatever. But yeah. We have finished the game, and we tore through the demon stronghold. Didn't waste any time whatsoever. You can see how it's a really hard place if you don't know where to go. You're wandering around, and everything is, like, way faster than you and trying to kill you. It's pretty awful. But that is... We're done. We're finally done with Spiritual Warfare. Only eight episodes, but it felt like it took forever. Mostly because it did. Because of circumstances and whatnot. But that is all for the main game. Now we're going to go back, and as the uh, topper on the cake, I'm going to go ahead and show you that boss that we skipped. Thanks for joining me for Spiritual Warfare, everybody. So here we are back at that door. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my anointing oil. Not that that's going to help. See if you can figure out this out any better than I can. Let's go ahead and let's go in, and you try to figure out what's going on. I know we got these guys that you need to take care of, but and you've got this demon here up top guarding that hand of fate or whatever. I'm not really sure how to get rid of the demons, but they attack like a boss. And that hand is just dropping fire. He's in a very small space where he drops fire. So you gotta kinda chance it to get up the ladder. So I get that you kinda have to make your way up the ladder somehow and into that inner sanctum where you can get right up on the hand and just keep pelting him or whatever. But... Yeah, and a lot of these spawn into lava men. I've already lost a bunch of health doing this. So yeah, I'm trying to get up there. Did I already use my... Yeah, I already did. Yeah, we made a big deal out of that. So yeah, if you get up here... See, check it out over here. You can't, like, kill this guy. He's, like... He's, like, all up in your face. Yeah. What are you even supposed to do there? And if you continue, of course got three hearts and no anointing oil so if you lose it's just even harder yeah good luck not getting pelted by lava spawning guys or anything of that nature yeah try to get up that ladder yeah oh god so I don't even know what to do there I have no idea and you keep going in you keep trying shield of faith 
not even worth it. I'm not even sure what the Shield of Faith does. Yeah, yeah, there's a good chance of getting hit as soon as you go in the room, too. If they're just, if they're, if he had a bigger space to move around it, it wouldn't make me so upset, but, like, you don't, you don't have a chance. You don't have the proverbial snowball's chance in hell. It's just, wow, that's nasty. If anybody knows what to do there, I'd like to know. Not that I'm going to go back and get the Shield of Faith, because I beat the game plenty fine without it. But, yeah, that's that guy, in a nutshell. Holy cow. But, just wanted to go and show you that so that you would have the complete spiritual warfare experience. Make sure that we didn't skip anything or anything like that. And so, now we are completely done with spiritual warfare. Stay tuned for the teaser for the next game coming up soon. We're still going to be doing the invasion alternating, but now there's going to be a new game in the mix as well. A familiar one that I've been wanting to do for a while. Not a new one, but yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm just tired of this game. It's been going on for weeks and it's only eight episodes and I'm just tired of it. I'm ready to be done with it. It's an okay game and all, but it's time to move on. See you guys.